Three things your relationship has to be able to survive. Yes. Number one, distance. Not just literal distance because um, there are times that we have to go away. There are times that you're going to be away from your partner and your relationship has to survive that meaning, you know, you got to trust your partner, right? You got to communicate. You got to touch base. If your relationship can't survive two weeks of your partner going away, um, it's, it's not really sustainable. So distance, but also emotional distance. You know, there are times that we go through our own personal shit and we are away and um, we eventually come back around. But that distance, that time when your partner is going through something and uh, needs to, to perhaps be alone or go through whatever he or she is going through, your relationship has to survive that. Okay, number two, this one's kind of obvious, is fights. Um, and it's not the big fights. It's the little bickering fights that happen throughout the week. Your relationship has to survive that. Um, you have to learn how to fight without fighting, right? If every fight that you have with your partner um, takes a giant crowbar to your relationship and cracks that relationship container, it's, not, it's just a matter of time before the whole house of cards comes crushing down, right? Uh, and then the third thing is your relationship has to be able to survive each other's evolution. So, you know, we change um, in, as individuals. And uh, if your relationship can't hold the space for two people to go on their journeys, right? You're not who you were three, four or five years ago. You're not who you were even last year, right? The relationship has to be able to um, promote, support, encourage each other's individual journeys. A lot of relationships, you know that they're toxic because they, they can't do this, right? When, when, when someone grows, the partner um, has fear, feels anxiety. And um, this is a lot, a lot of times younger love, but uh, you should be able to promote, encourage, and hold space for your partner for them to go on their journeys. And um, that may bring you some anxiety um, but that's also going to promote your growth as well. So your relationship has to be able to survive that.